engineering point of view. We are agricultural engineers, we are constructing tractors. And uh, of course what we do in techniques has relations to our soil. And since soil is our best friend in agriculture, we have to be careful with it. Yeah? So today they use tractors and not these small scale tractors. Today you and next week you will tractors seeing with 500 horsepower mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, a payload of 10 tons or something yes. like this. And what it is, we have our soil and we use the to in agriculture we use the soil for growing plants but also as a, as a lane, as a street. Yeah. So that is uh, that interrelationship in between. And what I want to show you a little bit uh, of, of how we are uh, acting when we are checking our machinery and the, the soil compaction. Um, most of you know very simple instruments like these uh, penetrometers. Different, um, uh, most of you have done this already to see how uh, how there are the soil compaction. Yeah. Everybody knows it. You just press it into the air, and you can get a feeling. For example, now it becomes stronger. There's some compaction over here. Oh, I made this track over here. You can now compare this here. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Mm -hmm. You can make it very easy, a very easy story without each work workshop can do this. Or you can make a small advanced story like this, it's the same. But what we did is we, took, we, took, we have taken a ring here and if you press on a ring, what will it be? It will become an the egg. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And with the help of this small instrument you can measure now the egg. Mm -hmm. yeah? And then you can have also some much more accurate data. So I press it here, nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. It goes in, goes in, goes in, and suddenly I feel Now we have some issues. So I compact here, and now I have to use load on it. You make a scale over here, and you easily can see what is happening, even in the trend. What does it indicate? Yeah, that is now the, the force I need. Pressure, the, the force I need to press it in. Yeah. Okay. And if you have this now, <coughs> there is a soil definition about this diameter and the cone, mm -hmm. and from that you have good relationship about soil compaction. So even these very easy things, ne, they enable you easily to say hmm, where the things happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is really soil compaction, yeah. mm -hmm. and you can see. For example, where the plowing track is, and mm -hmm. also data about it. There are also electronic ones available, but uh, even these simple things are completely sufficient. Now the next thing is, um, uh, if you calculate a machine, or you look about the dimension of a machine, you of course can see the result with the help of a penetrometer. But what you are more interested in is, <coughs> what is happening, What? where is the dangerous point? You can see there is compaction, but how did it happen? And sure, you have all seen um, these models of pressure soil compaction under a wheel. And the question is, how do they do you measure it? And now uh, the, the interesting thing is, what is soil compaction? Um, how can I pressure? How can I make pressure management of soil compaction under a running tractor? And there is some very uh, nice instrument created which I want to show you here in practical action. Now my task would be when the tractor is running here I want to see how the soil is compacted. Now I need an instrument to show what is happening. And that's very easy to build. What you need is a tube over here and a pressure meter. Can be an expensive electronic one or can be a rather simple one from just general installation. Mm -hmm. and it's made like this that you have a tube here, it's filled with water. Mm -hmm. yeah? You remove all the air, it's only water inside, water is incom incompressible. You have some some, some charging units here, a small valve. And then you can see when I press here, the soil compaction, or I press the tube here, it can be shown here. Yeah? Now how to get it under the wheel? It's a very easy story. You take the ruler from your workshop. Thanks, Heiko. <laughs> <laughs> then you need a huge driller. Yeah. 
You can make it also in your workshop by your own. We just to take it from, from, for example, from the wood uh, workshop, you take one and you you solder here a longer strip on it, and we make it like this. And then <coughs> under the wheel, no, you can now drill a hole. A guy with his driller. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can continue until it's there. And then you change your driller to, with a brush. Mm -hmm. huh? And now you need now you need ten minutes huh, to be very very accurate to brush this now here. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's of course difficult because mm -hmm. always there are some particles going in mm -hmm. and now with the help of this very long brush you now can bring in this the sensor mm -hmm. afterwards mm -hmm. you easily place this here now you see it's working not bad yeah? So I have to work now with the brush and until I can get it to the place mm -hmm. and I can it, make it now in different uh, in different depths and Now the next task would be to take the new machine which you developed yeah. maybe a heavy tractor and As soon as you start to drive here now What will happen? Somebody should be looking on okay. these project measurement or it can be connected to a computer and when now the tractor is running what will happen the pressure will go high mm -hmm. and as soon as the wheel is away mm -hmm. yeah it will go down so what is now soil compaction i make the curve now the virtual curve it goes it goes it goes the tractor come it goes high and then it goes back is the soil compaction no, it's completely elastic. No? Mm -hmm. If it goes back on the same value as it was before, pressure did not increase, yes. there's no soil compaction. Mm -hmm. no? So yeah. the machine would fit to the soil. Mm -hmm. If you now make make measurement, measurement, you now it goes up, okay. but mm -hmm. then does not go back to the so original the value, yeah. Yeah. it means okay. there is still pressure on it, on mm -hmm. the sensor. Mm -hmm. And that's soil compaction. Mm -hmm. and that, is, that means that the soil, the, the moisture content, or the machine, or the size of the machine, the weight of the machine, does not fit together. Yeah? And that's what, what you are doing with these instruments in science, when you develop a machinery uh, and check for, for example, a strong harvesting machine in October, you can check the soil compaction, and what you, what you will find is that even in the depth of half a meter, sometimes one meter, you have still soil compaction. Meaning the way you are doing is wrong. Yeah? You, know, you have to take more tires or reduce the, the pressure inside the tire or taking chains instead of wheels, all these things. Yeah? It's an easy measurement instrument you can also make by yourself yeah? just to know how to use it. Yeah? Also, so much about soil compaction. And I, now I give the word to, uh, to Birgit. I give her sounds very special too, right. if you like. We need a very strong man or a strong woman. <laughs> Here we are, yeah, yeah please. <laughs> and uh, you all have seen these things, how to take samples. Yeah, that's easy. There are small scale types, like this one here. And uh, now you can take it in and have the sample. Mm -hmm. And now you can check. Or you take the large one if you want. Anybody has never done it, now here's, here's a chance. And there's another possibility to check on the soil. That will be shown by Birgit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Normally you need two of this. Or it would be better to have two. Yeah? You put this inside the soil as deep as possible. And then you have a second one, you leave it like it is, and then you have a second one, and you dig a hole around there, 
So, I put it out now. But this is. And zwei haben wir nicht. Ja? Zwei? We do it like it is normally. Because if we if we put it. Have you seen this already once? Who has seen this? Like to take it. You, you, you. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's an easy method to look inside. It, there are special apparatus even that you can put the soil on here and then you can really easily show it. We make, make it proper so to prepare something like that. Now you will see how I can dig a hole. And you can already realize how the earth, how the soil is. Will you buy this farm or not? <laughs> <laughs> some earth warm holes. You see this here? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a quite good sign. Mm -hmm. So? Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope this goes so. Somebody has to hold this. Yeah, I can press Please. It. I can press it. Yeah. It should not go no, no, away. No, no, no. Still. As a whole, this would be the most important thing. Let's see. One, two, three, and. Yeah. Yeah, one, let me see. One second. 
No, it's not. It's because of the stove. Yeah, you can eat a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah. It's not perfect, it's a little bit... Yeah. But no. It doesn't matter, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Wow! And now we... Okay. You can... Hold it like this. Normally, you can put some there, and you can see what. It Unfortunately, here is broken base, so we yeah. look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you have, <coughs> and you see, you see where this compaction starts, mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Here. Is it heavy or is it okay for me? <laughs> What is very interesting is it's very to put it and to see how it's broken, yeah? Mm -hmm. And whether there is it's broken easily it's not come back. Yeah. or whether the um, edges are very strict or more round, yeah. yeah? Round is better than too too like like this. It's yeah. very you see? Yeah. You see the difference from the from from the top right and the, the yeah, yeah mm. exactly. And normally you can really see <laughs> where it starts, yeah? Yeah. 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 Here, the difference is very well seen. Mm. Yes. Yes. Top and, uh, yeah. yeah, you mm. can see. Mm. Huh? So it's an easy measure to see what's happened in the soil and how it is. Yeah. Sometimes you can see now it's too cold for earthworms. But we can see even the holes. I leave it. Such a difference. You have it. You can see very easily. Uh, this farm is well established, organic farm. You see how this is compact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And now, if you oh yeah, this is an earthworm, and so n it, it's gone now, of course, because now they are deep in the soil, and this is the is the humus. Mm. The earthworm is producing, and this okay. is very fertile. And the and here you see even the root. Mm. Sometimes the root are trying to get through the through the earth. Mm -hmm. And this is still a good sign, even if it's really compact. If you if you uh, you can you can touch it. You see, yeah. and if you broke it, this kind of this is a sign of compaction already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want, you can. Just wanna feel it. <laughs> yeah, you see. Very hard. Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. If you you touch yours, where you come from? Ghana. From Ghana? Yeah. Completely different, yeah, huh? Very different. Very different. So you. Someone else. <laughs> okay, and on the so if you can, yeah. Now you, normally it's good to do a sample on a soil where you, something is grown because there you can really see the row, the roots, and something. Yeah, we didn't do this now, but normally it's better because then you can really follow the roots, and then you see ah, the root is going there because there was a deep uh, compaction, something like that. Now we didn't do this. Now, on the end of such <coughs> thing, if you took pictures, yeah, do documentation, you write down what you have seen, yeah, and you, you measure in which deep, yeah, so um, measure in 20 centimeters, I have seen, and the compaction starts at 10, or the, the horizon, I can see at 10. And in the end, you take a, make it free a little bit. I show you what you may do now. You take it so, and you 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 just leave the soil um, um, bump on the floor, but only it sucks like this. Oh, I show you. I show you. Let me show you. One second. 
Yeah. Yeah? Mm. To see how it will broke. Mm. And now you can again see what we have seen already. This in the in the in the over 10 centimeters, I would say, mm. it's quite loosened and on the ground it's compact. Even on this, it will not through mm. go small. <coughs> okay? Yeah. Mm. So I used this method as well in my field trials and I documented everything. And this is very good for documentation over years, mm. yeah, to see what as well how the structure of the soil an easy method to see how the structure in the soil is changing only visible yeah it's only a very simple thing but it even can be done on farm sites yeah with, with simple and you just only need two things and piece of paper in my country sometimes the farmers they just like make the soil like this yeah in different depths and then yeah they the same, I think it's the same. almost the same huh? and if you dig such a hole as I told you on a side where you have plants you see some more interesting things because you can see how the roots are developed and um, how the soil life is especially during summer times then you can really find some yeah earthworms which is interesting okay Thank you very much. We have to thank the Birgit, yeah? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Both theoretical and practical. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. So. Now yes. it's lunch. It's time for lunch. Okay. So please uh, go. Uh,